Hey everyone, welcome to the welcome to the DD channel. This is your host DD, and today we're going to talk about Megami device Soul Raptor. Megami device, for your information, is an original plastic model series from Kotobukiya. By original, I mean it's not from any anime or any game, but it only has models. For now. However, Megami device do have collaborations with a mobile game, which the kit we are talking about today comes with a code that gives you this character and its full equipment in the game. Now, let's get started on the kit. First, let's take a look at the design. This one got the most aggressive and dynamic design with these massive wings all over the place, which will look even more awesome if you put the decals on. I haven't put mines on because I'm planning to paint it someday in the future, maybe. You also get this crazy amount of wings with same size pivots so you can figure out a way that looks best to you. Now, let's move on to the articulations. You get feet that can bend both ways, ankles, double joint on the knee, rotation on the middle of the lap, two pivots for the crotch, one pivot on the hip, which allows an amazing flexibility, ball joint and pivots on the chest, ball joint at the shoulder, and a close to 90 degrees rotation on the base of shoulder, which also allows a great flexibility. Bicep pivot, single joint for the elbow, wrist that you can bend and turn, pivot at the base of the neck, ball joint in the head, and another pivot at the neck, hair in the back, and ball joints on the top. Different from Frame Arms Girls, Megami device uses almost the same body on every one of them, which means most of the armor will be compatible, and you get about the same amount of articulations. Moving to the armor mode, ankles, wheels that you can flip down and actually roll, double joint at the knee, two joints on this piece of armor so you can move it out of the way when you pose it, total of six pivots on each side of the backpack very flexible for posing in various angles. Now, let's take a look at this excessive amount of accessories. We got all these different kinds of wings, only a few armor in comparison. Next, we got some extra joints in case you break one, different color body parts that you can choose from, whether you like to show some skin or to have a full body suit. We got three faces, looking front, smiling to the right, and a crying face. And of course, we got all these different kind of hands. We got two different kind of open hands, two different kind of grabbing hands, and closed hands. And also here's the interesting part, we got another set of two different grabbing hands with pivots on. And we also got this sexy stand with the Megami device symbol engraved and that matte finish. There was another stand, got Megami device symbol printed, which is included in one of the previous kit that we may talk about in the future. Moving on, we have four weapons here that I had a lot of fun with. Each of them have a pin or a hole or both on them, allowing you to combine them in different ways. You also get this little hook that you can attach in the back of this cannon for stability. And next, let's take a look at what caught my eye at the very beginning. Taking this core piece, chest armor, and a few wings. You'll get this cute little owl. Gosh, isn't that adorable? This kit is a combination of two previous kits of Megami device, so you'll get some extra pieces, such as this visor, but you only get one this clear part. So you have to take off that clear part when you switch to the different visor. And you also get this chest armor that you can put it in two different ways, which I am glad that it's included. 
so you can have the armor mode and the owl at the same time. Overall, I'd say this kit is pretty amazing. Outstanding flexibility and lots of armor and weapons to play with. If you're considering about getting this kit, notice there's a different color version that is coming out, which may include some different parts, but should be about the same overall. Thank you all for watching. If you like my review, please subscribe, as there will be way more reviews on plastic model kits and figures. I will see you all next time.